Hi, good morning everyone. Let's get started with our next topic which is Solman underscore setup. Basically, this is how we will do a setup of the solution manager. This is a utility what SAP has provided to configure the solution manager. Right from the start, once the installation is complete, this is the first utility need to be run and using this you can complete your entire configuration of solution manager so this is extremely important utility and we will see what are the different features and functionality which is available when you execute this transaction called solman underscore setup so this is the t code just take note that all the configuration work will be done using this so all the one time configuration work happens through solman underscore setup utility Okay, once you execute this utility, you will get this type of window which is which will tell you about how the configuration, how the solution manager will be configured. Okay, so as we can see here, you can configure the basic features, you can configure your managed system, you can do a system preparation work from here, you can configure, do the basic configuration you can set up your manage system you can connect your manage systems from here you can do technical monitoring you can define your technical monitoring from here this is where you can define your it service management stuff basically your incident management change management process from here you can set up the business process monitoring from here you can set up your business process change analyzer from here Okay, so you can see that measured platform setup can be done from here, data volume management, any other configuration can be done from here. So they have tried to make it a menu based. Okay, in the overview screen, you can see that this the overview shows the overall status of solution manager configuration. Okay, so basically you require the authorization object determines whether the solution manager configuration is displayed or not. So by default you will not be able to display this configuration. Okay, so you can see that different activities which can be created. So whenever you are performing any, any activity, it will show you that okay, these are the different scenarios which are present and at the bottom you can see, see that for a particular scenario which are the activities which are configured okay so these are the activities which are configured so you can see that the configuration step these are the different activities say for example system preparation system preparation we do these five activities that is implement the sap node this is the first activity which happens okay then we select the sld we connect the system to an existing SLD and if you want to make this as a new SLD we make the system as a new SLD migrate the data into LMDB okay so this is what is done so if we just click here this will take care of that particular feature okay so same thing goes for the basic configuration so here at the top you can see it's a scenario window if I click on the configuration it will take me to the basic configuration window Okay, which will tell that okay these are the activities and it will show you the status if the basic configuration is successful or not okay and below you can see okay in the basic configuration you can see what is going on in the basic configuration which are the activities which is done which was successful or not whether what else need to be done and here you can see the menu which will show that what is the next step okay this step is done what is the next step Okay, so it will keep on showing you the next window till this particular activity is complete. Okay, so that is pretty much I wanted to cover, wanted to get a feel of how exactly you will configure your solution manager, which is the basic utility for doing your entire configuration. And as you can see that this utility requires a transaction code called solman underscore setup and to get into solman underscore setup you need specific roles to be assigned to your id 
okay you need to find out which roles are required to be assigned so that you can execute that particular transaction okay and once you are into this particular transaction you can do all these activities like right from the system preparation basic configuration manage system configuration technical monitoring so all this stuff can be configured from here so over a period of time in our next subsequent trainings we will see how each activity is configured okay thanks for joining and have a nice day bye bye